Well, welcome to today's uh, Song for Sunday. Beautiful warm day here. And it's one of my favorite hymns. It's an absolutely fabulous hymn. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life an atonement for sin and opened the life gate that all may go in. It's funny, I, I um, saw a, a kind of version of this which missed out. Didn't say an atonement in sin. He yielded his life our redemption to win. Why do people muck around with the words of old hymns? God's glory comes from the atonement, from the cross of Christ. He yielded his life our redemption to win. Oh, it does my head in. Um, perfect redemption, the purchase of God. To every believer, the, the purchase of blood rather, to every believer, the promise of God. The vilest offender who truly believes that moment from Jesus, a pardon receives. 19th century hymn with uh, lyrics from Fanny Crosby, famous hymn writer and music from William Don. Uh, I just, I find it one of these hymns that, I, you know, I would sing in private quite often. Uh, we want to praise the Lord to let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Or come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory. Great things he has done. We praise God because of what he has made. We praise God because of who he is. We praise God because of what he has done. And it's to him that the glory is. We don't take glory to ourselves. I was a famous uh, evangelist that a friend told me, or a tele-evangelist, that a friend told me he went to his house and above the door, it was Benny Hinn, and above the gate to his house to the glory of God and Benny Hinn. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm, no way. It's to God be the glory alone. Great things he has done. We get to share in that. We get to participate. We get to rejoice in it. But it is his glory. So I will leave you with the St. Peter's congregation singing a hymn that we often sang and I believe we'll be singing in heaven. See you next week or join us for Coffee and Revelation tomorrow. Bye.